Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Ferium, which is a horror game where you must survive fairy tales. Because as we all know, fairy tales are very nice places to be. Play as Aurora, a young girl suffering from sleep paralysis and other disorders. Help her find the rest night after night as you face the terrorists and haunt her. For your in-game actions, reveal the macabre story of the insomniac beauty. I don't know. Probably just some fairies. You can always trust fairies. Oh, look. Blue flowers. Fortunately, I have candles. <laughs> that won't last long. Last night, I took a little blackberry alcohol. I drank it on the sly. How good it was. But it makes your head spin. What was that? Uh-oh. They're here. You should lock the door. The door to my room has always been difficult to open. So close my eyes. <gasps> hold my breath. My beautiful hairdresser. I have always liked to sit there. I wonder how it is outside the dome. Now, I'm not quite sure what's going to go down. I'm assuming we're going to stay static and things are going to come into the room and it's going to be no good. Chronicles of the Kingdom of Alba. It's as indigestible as it sounds. At the border of Thaly, on the edges of Logue, well beyond Peru, home of the West, welcoming Earth for the brave colonies, cradle of many magic. Here thrives the vast and sovereign kingdom of Alba. Can we interact with any- There is even a lock, but I believe the key has been lost. Great! They're here. Music's all like spooky now. Do I look at or look away from it? Perhaps if I stare at it, it'll go away. Never mind. Good night. Forever. Well, we died. So that one made me keep our eyes closed and look away. But then again, there might be enemies that like are the opposite. We'll see. Squirrel? Squirrel. Squirrel! My three ants. I love them. Fortunately, I have candles. Without them, impossible to close an eye. The darkness terrifies me. In the dark, things are even more alive. I don't want to think about it anymore. Now, I said looking at things would also calm us down, so I'm wondering if I'm actually like messing myself up by examining things. Hairdresser. I have always liked to sit there. But I also kind of want lore, so. This canvas. My aunts have always told me that Alba Castle was one of the greatest wonders of this kingdom. It looks huge. Ah, uh, I would very much like to visit it just once. What a dream it would be, just for one night, to be a princess. Gracious and beautiful, within the walls of this castle. Well, here we go. <sighs> Only in dreams. We're pretty awake for being Sleeping Beauty, I'll say that. <gasps> here it goes. There's something else here, too. Nope. Don't look at it. See, it's not moving. My hairbrush. Just gonna look at stuff around. Okay, it's gone. Calm down, girl. Calm down. The closet. 
where all my clothes are stored. Yeah, so that's actually like health. So I shouldn't I should stop trying to get lore. I mean we saw that in the tutorial, but still. So there was the character in the corner. But then there was something like twitching over here. What are Do I look away? No, maybe I was supposed to look at you. Uh oh. Good night. Forever. <gasps> it's it's completely bugged. Maybe you have to like just keep double tapping it. I don't know. I eventually got the stick. It's either like it's context of a spot. Um it's a little buggy. Or maybe sometimes it's like not click and hold, so then maybe it's like rapid click. Not sure. Swain, regular and restful. Cut that out, horse. I'm trying to survive a grim fairy tale. That one, like you can look away or you can close your eyes. The the advantages of closing your eyes is if something's coming through the door, you can actually click on it. And as long as you get that thing locked down, you can keep your eyes closed at the same time. Because if you look over here, it can still come for you because of the mirror. Well, up to a certain point. I think it'll eventually stop once it's out of mirror range. Yeah, it's here. Still here. Still here. Not going away. No, doesn't want to go away. Now we're good. Yeah, it's double tap. It's it's just not consistent. Sometimes it's double tap, sometimes it's hold. At least if I'm interpreting it right. Calm myself down. She's getting a little rough. Breathe. Yeah, right now it's click and hold. Breathe, breathe. Breathe. Relax. Relax, relax. Little pony, little pony. I'm too tall now to ride it. This canvas. <gasps> this canvas? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Double tap, double tap. Okay. I need to get that anxiety down. Was I? Uh, yes. This canvas. My aunts have always told me that Alba Castle was one of the greatest wonders of this kingdom. It looks huge. Uh, I would very much like to visit it just once. Squirrel. Squirrel? Squirrel. 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 No. I'm not even sure what your mechanic is. Do you just look at me? Mm. 
I've just been like doing stuff. Maybe it's like tilt my head like the owl. So far, so good. I think we survived. Yeah. Go to bed. Everything will be okay. Manly here is watching over you. He totally won't get you a bad ending someday. Sleep well for this night. Like one out of 13 pages. Hmm. I'm not even sure how I unlocked any pages. Once upon a time in the kingdom of Alba, the story of King Cyrus and Queen Aurelia. I guess it's because we got a page. Final game. Ten different nights with brand new interactions and objects. Ten endings to discover depending on the actions you've made. Sixteen friends to deal with and unique way to survive. How was fun this first game? I guess it's got a Kickstarter going on. So they're going to have a whole bunch of different games. I think the game page mentioned that essentially they're not all going to just be like, oh, you're laying in the bed and monsters come and get you. They've got very different gameplay for every different fairy tale. This is just, you know, Sleeping Beauty, so it, that's the gimmick of this one. There is a night, too. What? What the? Uh, it was a scream? Was it in my dream? In my head? Outside? Uh oh. Calm down, calm down. Not quite sure. No. Calm down. Okay, we got you in the breathable zone. Was that coming from outside? I don't know, you tell me. No. It's behind the door. Please tell me it didn't come from the hallway. It totally came from the hallway. Aunt Aunt Lorette? Aunt Muriel? I wonder if they're going to introduce more fairies, then. Because, like I said, we are down one fairy. Music should be changing. Because of the leak in the ceiling, the pillar broke. We'll be fine. Are you always going to do that every time? Squirrel. Oh, see, the lights, the candlesticks are burning out. So in the later stages... Don't you move. The later stages, the candlesticks are going to be gone. So when you close your eyes, it's going to be very deadly. Because you're missing me that line about like, Oh, if the candlesticks go out, I'm going to feel bad. <gasps> what? 
to you. The only move I'm like I'm not sleeping. What do I do? What do I do? Oh crap. Hold my breath and Come down, come down. Everything will be fine. It will. Okay. I still hear her. Good. No! She was here! No! Bah! We gotta get our story out at the start. My aunts are really ill. Something is wrong. Something is definitely wrong. It's like the whole time they've been keeping me in secret from something important. Am I making stuff up? No. They've always loved me. Why would they lie to me? They are my own. Trying to eat you. My only parents. Fortunately, the tree has grown up so much that it holds the bed up. Maybe he's just looking for a drink of water. Considering the state of the earth, it wouldn't be surprising. <gasps> Lore. <gasps> Since those nightmares, I can't sleep a thing. Yet I feel exhausted. Owl. Prince? You... You're not Prince. Who are you? <gasps> 
Well. And you don't want to leave. It reminds me of the time that Aunt Geronce and Aunt Muriel fought all day. Aunt Muriel had more than enough of Aunt Geronce choosing everything's colors all the time. Aunt Geronce had made a new dress with red dye. She was red. Scarlet red. Yeah, that's the, the dress fight. Aunt Muriel wanted my dress to be light blue. Garon lectured her and recalled all the chores that everyone had around the house. She then threw potty at and girls. I know who that is. This is the most deadly one. Every single my, one of my deaths comes from this one here. It's because seemingly the um, the mechanic to stop it's kind of tricky. Like I'm not sure if it ever doesn't work quite right, or it's just finicky. Aunt Grants avoided him, and Potty fell into the dive bowl. Ploosh. He was completely red. Poor Potty. <laughs> I cried a lot that day. Panicked, they immediately tried to bring back- <gasps> Yeah, just go away. Ooh, double trouble. Or was I? Prince? You... You are not Prince. Who are you? You do have to like kind of blink. Everything will be fine. Just hold my breath and look up here. Go away, go away. Oh, it's still there. Oh god, it's still there. It's not going away. Calm down, girl. Oh, 
Oof. Brutal. And the night already. down. Come on, in the night. I just want to make sure the one on the ground wasn't there. That was a new spot and an angle of attack. Breathe. 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 Okay. Still there. Go away, please. Go away, please. Oh, I survived. Oof, just the nick of time. Sleep well for this night. Aurora was therefore raised in secret by the three fairies who pretended to be her aunts and who gave her a lot of love while educating her perfectly. Hmm, so the page is cut off. So that's it for the fairy MM demo. Maybe it's fairium, I'm not really sure. So this is supposed to be like a whole saga. It has a Kickstarter currently going on. There'll be links to that in the description. Uh, right now that we're starting with, um, you know, Sleeping Beauty. And the gameplay is supposed to be split up and kind of very based on the fairy tale it's going on. So Sleeping Beauty, I'm assuming, is going to be kind of like this survive sleeping your bed simulator. That type of horror structure. And then everyone's supposed to be like different and everything like that, depending on the fairy tale. But right now, I think they're focused on completing Sleeping Beauty. And it's a pretty good... I mean, the, the fairies are very creepy looking. There's some... I mean, it's hard to call, like, how good is the game going to be, because we only got two nights, right? We've only got introduced to a very... the very beginning of the mechanics and everything like that. It does slightly feel like the first two nights are a little harder than they should be, but it's all right since the demo. They just, just kind of go on pretty long, uh, and I was, wasn't quite sure sometimes if I was doing the right thing. At least in regards to the uh, the one of the chattery teeth, the red fairy, and I was trying to debate like what I was doing that was letting me get pages or not. Like I'm assuming that has to do with the lore and which ones you click. But then like on the second night, for example, past a certain point of the night, I couldn't click on anything else, and I'm not sure if that's a mechanic or if that's a bug where it's thinking we're in constant danger because you're not supposed to be reading the lore when you're in danger. So that might be a case. I'm not sure. But it's promising. I mean, we've got ourselves a little bit of a theme. We've got ourselves some creepiness going on. We just need to see where it goes. Anyway. So, if you go off and watch you play the Fairy MM Duo, I'll see you guys later.
and take it easy.